Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a gold glitter texture inside of Procreate. Metallics and glitter are pretty popular on my channel so I wanna make sure that I get one in for Procreate. So making the actual glitter texture is pretty simple. So I'm also gonna show you how to add some color to the top, uh, something similar to what I've done here. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'll also show you how to use a clipping mask to get like lettering, like what I've got right here. So this is actually the glitter that we're gonna be making. And then I just uh, added text with a clipping mask and I'll show you how to do that really quickly. I'm gonna come up here to the plus icon and I'm gonna choose the screen size. For me, it's 2732 by 2048. I don't know if that number is different for different iPads, but for me, that's the number. So I'm gonna use that. And I'm gonna come in here. So I'm not working in the background. I'm working with layer one for this. So I'm gonna come in here and choose a color. I'm gonna be using this one right here. You can screen capture that color, but I'm also gonna be adding a swatch file at prettywebs.com so you can download all of the colors that I'm gonna be using today from there. So I'm gonna just drag this onto the screen. This is gonna be my shadow color. I'm gonna come back into the colors and I'm gonna choose this color right here. This will be my highlight color. So I'm just gonna drop the highlight color on the screen and I need to use, I'm gonna come in here to the brushes and I'm gonna be using uh, just a flat solid colored brush. So I usually use this one right here, it's called Syrup, but anything like that that has solid color and it's just a flat brush will work fine. So I'm gonna just add some color here, make it a little bit thicker on this side and then add some more over here. Now I do have a video that goes more in depth on creating metallic gradients inside of Procreate. So I will leave a link down in the description so you can watch that if you're interested in that. But we're just gonna be making a basic metallic gradient for this because the glitter is gonna need that highlight and shadow as well. So I'm gonna come in here to adjustments, we'll click on that little magic wand icon, and I'm gonna choose Gaussian Blur. From here, I'm gonna choose Layer. And you'll see at the top of the screen, Gaussian Blur slide to adjust. So I'm gonna start on the left-hand side of the canvas and I'm just gonna start dragging until I get something that I like. You can, you know, bring it out or for me, I'm just gonna leave it right around 30% or so. So right there is fine. I'm gonna tap it again to accept that. And from here, I'm gonna come back into the adjustments and I'm gonna choose Noise. I'll choose a layer and you can see this little menu came up down at the bottom and I also have that instruction up at the top so slide to adjust the noise I'm gonna start on the left and do the same thing that I just did I'm gonna leave it at about 25% for now and then we can always adjust it later on so down at the bottom I'm gonna change from cloud to billows and I'm gonna scale this up so we'll start with about 40% and then we can add more noise if we want uh, a more dramatic glitter or take away noise if we want something a little bit finer. If you want finer glitter uh, clouds at a smaller scale is probably going to be the best thing but for this one I think I'll leave my noise uh, right around there so I have it at 28.2 right now. Now if you use ridges that's going to give you a darker glitter so Billows is lighter, ridges is darker. For cloud, if you wanna use cloud, you'll just bring your scale down. And we're gonna bring our turbulence all the way up. And then you can just work with your noise. And I'm gonna take my scale up. So I've got my scale here at 40%. I've got my noise at 40%. Octave, none, turbulence, max. I'm gonna go ahead and click on adjustments to accept that. And I'm gonna come back in here to adjustments again, and I'm gonna to go to hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'm gonna choose a layer. This is a good glitter, but I just wanna add a little more saturation to it. So I'm gonna bring this up to about 75% just to get more gold in there. Now, right here is where you would come to change the color of your glitter. So if you want a glitter that, uh, like a rose gold maybe, or silver or something, you can come in here and make your adjustments to the hue and then for rose gold you know you would take the saturation down just a little bit for like a hot pink or a, a just more of a pink glitter take your saturation up 
but I'm going to go ahead and leave mine uh, right here at gold. So I have at 50% hue, saturation 75, brightness is 50%. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. From here, what I'm going to do is come here to the layers, and I'm going to add a new layer on top of this, and we're just going to add some color to this. So I'm still using that inking brush, and I'm just going to add color there. Uh, let's see, choose a different color, something like maybe this green color, and I'll add that over here. Try a purple, maybe not so dark, maybe something a little bit lighter for this. Just add that color, come back into the adjustments. I'll go back to Gaussian Blur layer and just kind of melt that color into each other. That might be a little too much. So I'll go ahead and leave it right around there. And now I can come in here to the little N. So you'll see all these blend modes come up there when you click on that. Uh, I'm gonna use maybe Overlay, it works well for this. Vivid Light, I really like that one for this style in particular, you know, this this uh, really bright style. Also, Hard Mix is a good one for that really bright glitter. So you can kind of go through these and see what you like the most. Uh, but for me, I think I'm going to leave it at that Hard Mix. I just like those colors. And then I'll take down my opacity a little bit because in, it's really uh, bright in the highlights. Okay, so from here, if you don't like the color, or if you don't think that you have enough color, we can come back in here. So what I'm gonna do is just add this turquoise color here, and uh, maybe a little bit more, like let's go with some lighter colors, like a light blue, maybe something like that, over here in the corner. And I'm just gonna do the same thing as before, the Gaussian Blur layer, and just bring that out, and of course change the blend mode. So this one doesn't have to be, you don't have to use the same blend modes that you used before. So I can use Color Burn, that, that one looks really nice for this. Uh, but I'm going to go in and see what that hard light looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it all the same. Maybe a Vivid Light or Linear. I think I'll go with Vivid Light for this one. So that's the finished glitter. And of course, you know, you can remove all of these and you'll have this basic glitter. Uh, but once you have the glitter that you want, I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate that one so I have my original. And then I'm just gonna squeeze all of those together to get my other glitter. I think I'm gonna add a text layer. So I'm gonna come over here to the little wrench and I'm gonna choose insert or add text. I'll just type out a word. So let me go ahead and click on that now that I have that whole thing selected and just choose a different font. Okay, so I'll use this font and I'm gonna bring it way up. Okay, it doesn't matter what color your lettering is. I'm just gonna bring that under and I'm gonna tap on that glitter that we created and I'm gonna choose Clipping Mask. Let me turn that one off so you can kind of see what that looks like. Let me do this a darker color, just basic black. So that's how you make your own glitter textures inside of Procreate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.